for a lot of the people listening, so I love what you just said. You had a lot of earned media. Did you guys go super scrappy and just start emailing a bunch of PR people, or how? What really, you know, what was the what was the secret sauce in getting into time and, and, and on Dr. Oz's radar? That's literally it. You just go find someone that's wrote yeah. some similar things to what your business is associated with, and then just email every single one. Yeah, like a hundred percent work. Yeah, and that—that's something that Kent and Tyler built up, like a list of people, and they were just Kent and Tyler just like tackling one by one, um, hitting up these writers, and I mean that—that that was kind of like the scrappy way to do. It. I mean, essentially, being our own PR team and just mm-hmm. like promoting ourselves, basically, like, hey, this is a, this new idea. This is like what we're working on. Please, you know, write about us. In terms of strategy, did you go, so so the PR, I imagine it's working and directing people to your website, but are you also going social media heavy? Is it everything or are you super focused on the PR piece? I feel like our social media even now is uh, a little weak, <laughs> not, not as a criticism to our, ourselves, but is a little weak relative to everything else. So like we did focus on so much of like an outer facing way that all the CPG that we've seen, all the other CPG and brand companies that we've seen, all they do is just post pictures of their packaging and their product, you know? Like we want yeah. to provide functional value. And so, I mean, right now we have like an initiative with fitness influencers that may not have work from COVID, but use them, pay them to get them to make work from home workout videos, you know? And then now all of a sudden, like, you can use our social media as a resource instead of just looking at pictures of our packaging in different places around the world. To your points, it's a lot of time kind of marketing and educating people that a product like ours even exists and why you should try it. So we've moved a lot away from doing a digital strategy to just trying to sample the product as many events as possible. So CrossFit, basketball, golf tournaments, uh, charities, etc. We're, we're just trying to get the product in people's hands. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.